It's the end of the year and a lot of tech authorities are giving away a bunch of smartphones slash mobile awards, so I thought, why not make my own little award show? But since this is not your typical technology YouTube channel, you know it's gonna be kinda weird. I wanted to do something different, and after checking out a bunch of other award videos and articles, I sort of got the impression that they were kind of ignoring the most in-your-face smartphone trend of 2018. Yes, I'm talking about the notch. Just because some manufacturers are so obviously pretending it doesn't exist by cleverly using dark wallpapers, that doesn't mean it's not there, so why not have a little bit of fun with it? And by the way, that's the key word here. This video is just for fun, and you should not take it very seriously. So without any further ado, these are the 2018 Notch Awards. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing this. Promise. Now, usually award shows save the best awards for last, but in this one, we're gonna give the award for the best notch first, cause let's be real, these are the smartphone notch awards and there just have to be more interesting categories than this, so let's just get it out of the way. The award for the best looking notch of 2018 goes to the OnePlus 6T. So OnePlus pretty much managed to pack most of what the OnePlus 6 had on its larger notch on the top front of this phone that has kind of like a teardrop shaped notch. So you have a front facing camera that takes up most of the display cutout and then up there you also have an earpiece, a proximity sensor and ambient light sensor. Notification LED? Uh, no. The OnePlus 6T is a great phone, nothing much to add there but it is worth mentioning that the teardrop shape of the notch is there as sort of a remark to the design direction the industry is taking. Of course, I'm just kidding. Next, meme, I mean, category. Now, some manufacturers are just not having it, and this category is for them. Best notch evasion is all about the phones that have an edge-to-edge, -edge or near edge-to-edge -edge display without any notch. So, the people who made them had to get creative. And boy, did we have some interesting products this year, but the award can only go to one, and that would have to be the Oppo Fine 10, or X, or whatever. This phone utilizes a motorized slider on the top, which features a single selfie camera on the front, a dual camera setup on the back, and a whole array of sensors. When this thing came out, people looked at it like it was a wonder. Not only does it look really fancy, it doesn't do so bad in the specs department either, if you're into that kind of stuff. However, with that slider moving up and down constantly, well, it's probably not going to be the most durable phone you'll run into. Honorable mentions in this category go to the NEXS, the Nubia X, and also, this might come as a surprise to some, but to Samsung for being the only major smartphone manufacturer that managed to resist the notch invasion of 2018. Okay, so we have two categories down and we have two more to go, but before we continue, we're gonna break things up with a non-competitive category, and the reason why it's non-competitive is because the phones that we're gonna be mentioning here have not yet reached the market, or are just concepts. So this segment is called Notches of the Future, and it's all about phones that might take the whole notch thing to a whole nother level in 2019, and not one that we'll necessarily like. First off, we have the Sharp Aquos R2 Compact. Now, when you take a look at this phone's notch, you may think, okay, it's a notch, nothing too special here, right? Well, yeah, but then there's this too. You see, in a time when a lot of phone manufacturers are trying to develop technologies that could make edge-to-edge -edge notchless displays possible, Sharp pretty much said, f*** you, here's two notches, one for a selfie camera and one for a front-facing fingerprint sensor. Earlier this year, renders of the ZTE Iceberg were circulating on the internet, which also showcased two notches. Interestingly enough, the double notch setup somehow managed to be the second weirdest feature on the phone, and you can see why if you just shift your focus to the corners of the concept. Just recently, Samsung demonstrated a 5G prototype phone which not only had relatively thick top and bottom bezels, but also featured a notch in the top right corner. Talk about starting with a bang. However, Samsung officials did make it clear that this was just a sample device, and we hope to God it stays that. Of course, when talking about the future, we could also mention the announced Samsung Infinity O display, but that's not so much a notch as it is a hole, but I don't know, I guess we'll talk more about these things when we get there. Next category. Best purpose serving notch. So if I understand correctly, the whole purpose of a notch is to accommodate the necessary components that phones have on their top front while using as much space for an edge to edge display. 
So in this category, the natural winner should be the phone that has the thinnest all-around bezels, with a notch packed with all the standard stuff phones have these days, plus any extras. And in compliance with that, the award goes to the iPhone XS and XS Max. So both of these phones have a notch that features your standard earpiece, selfie camera, microphone, proximity and ambient light sensor, and on top of that an infrared camera, a dot projector and flood illuminator which make for easily the most secure facial recognition system on any smartphone in 2018. So you may like the notch, you may hate it, or you may be like meh. But one thing that I think we all can't deny is that if the notch does have a purpose, then the one on the new iPhones probably makes the most sense. And that's really all I have to say about that. And that brings us to our final category, the crown jewel of the show, the ugliest notch of 2018, or if you want to water it down, the worst looking notch, doesn't really matter. I don't want to take much more of your time. The award goes to Pixel 3 XL. I know, big surprise. Now look, if the form factor was at least a bit better, and if the chin of this phone didn't look like it was made using a mold of the tick's face, this could have contended for the best purpose serving notch. Not saying it would win, probably still wouldn't, but just saying. Besides the standard components, the notch on the Pixel 3 XL allowed Google to feature a second front facing camera with a wide angle lens, and also keep the dual front facing speaker system, which sounds pretty good. But with this form factor, well, I'm sorry Google, but it is what it is. 2019 is on the horizon, so better luck next year, I guess. Anyway, those are the 2018 Notch Awards. Hopefully, at the end of next year, making a video like this won't be necessary. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.